Reliance Jio has started providing 5G services to select customers in parts of four cities that is Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata and Varanasi. Whereas Bharti Airtel has also started providing 5G services in parts of eight cities that is Delhi, Mumbai, Varanasi, Bengaluru, Chennai, Hyderabad, Nagpur and Siliguri to all customers with 5G handsets. 5G users will get up to 600 Mbps speed during the launch phase and phones are expected to work at par with personal computers. Hello and welcome to VAR India News R. With the rollout of 5G services in India, the subscribers of both Reliance Jio and Bharti Airtel will not require to replace existing SIM for availing 5G services. Jio has said that its customers will continue to avail 5G services under a beta trial until the network coverage of a city is substantially complete. The company has promised access to unlimited 5G data with speed of up to 1 gigabit per second. However, it will continue to remain in the range of 200 to 300 Mbps after full rollout. This means a 2-hour high-definition movie, which is generally around 6 GB file size, can be downloaded in 1 minute 25 seconds and a 4K movie in about 3 minutes at a top speed of 600 Mbps. Customers buying 5G handsets or having a 5G enabled handsets will see 5G option in the network settings and they will need to select it for availing the service. The mobile network display on their device will start showing 5G instead of 4G when 5G will be available in their locality. 5G will democratize computing power. If you have a 5G device, whether it's a phone or a computer, you want to turn an application that requires a lot of computing power, 5G will provide that connection to the cloud or computers that allows you to tap on demand the computation of the cloud as if both were the same computer. Going forward, the mobile device's power consumption will go up with 5G usage as more cloud-based applications like gaming will start. Fortunately, there is the availability of a high-capacity battery along with a fast charging facility already in the market. A report said that 5G is expected to account for nearly 40% of all subscriptions by 2027 in India. Let's look into today's headlines in VAR India. Pavel Durov urged users to stay away from WhatsApp. The founder and CEO of Telegram, Pavel Durov, has urged people to use any messaging app except WhatsApp to avoid their phone being hacked. Pavel Durov claimed that the security flaws disclosed by WhatsApp last week allowed hackers to hijack any user's phone by sending a malicious video to their number and are planted backdoors to allow governments, law enforcement agencies and hackers to bypass the encryption and other security measures. Spotify acquires Kinzen for safety issues. Audio streaming service Spotify Technology has acquired Kinzen, a firm that helped it identify harmful content on the platform. Kinzen will provide early warnings about problems in different markets, helping Spotify more effectively moderate content in more languages. The Dublin-based firm has been working with Spotify since 2020, focusing on the integrity of election-related content around the world. Gradually, Kinzen has expanded to include targeting misinformation, disinformation and hate speech. Lloyds suspects a possible cyber attack. Major commercial insurance marketplace Lloyds of London has detected unusual activity on its network and is investigating a possible cyber attack. As a precautionary measure, the insurance company is resetting the Lloyds network and systems. All external connectivity has been turned off, including Lloyd's delegated authority platforms. Lloyd's have already informed market participants and relevant parties and said it will provide more information once investigation concludes. The global currency reserves fall by a record $1 trillion. The worldwide currency market reserves are falling at a fastest pace. In the year 2022, the reserve has declined by 1 trillion or 7.8% to 12 trillion, the biggest drop since 2003. The decline comes amid the central banks of India and the Czech Republic's intervention to support their own currencies. India's reserves have collapsed by $96 billion this year to $538 billion. In India, foreign reserves are still 49% higher than 2017 levels and enough to pay for nine months of imports. Microsoft seeks to invest $100 million in Zupi. Microsoft is reportedly planning to invest in the Indian gaming startup Zupi. 
the tech giant has held talks to potentially lead an investment round of over $100 million in the play-to-win gaming platform. The report further stated that if the deal gets finalized, it would help Microsoft to expand its business as Zupi is likely to use the software giants Azure and other cloud services as part of the agreement. Zupi operates as a skill-based casual gaming platform. The firm has garnered over 70 million downloads across board games such as Ludo, Snakes and Ladder, and Playing Cards and Carom. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to Bar India News Magazine. You can download the Bar India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.